Hello, everyone. My name is Anita Human, and today I'll be introducing the Chaos Diversity Inclusion Open Source Badging Initiative. A little bit about me I am Anita, a software developer and developer advocate at Kivano, a founder member of the Chaos Diversity Equity and Inclusion Badging, a technical writer, and I love cats. All right, Chaos. DEI badging from there to here. As of 2019, open source projects often consisted of mostly male, um, white male and English speaking software developers. But if you observe closely, you see that the open source ecosystem is moving towards a more diverse and inclusive environment. And that is where the chaos community comes in. The chaos community helps to um, track community health analytics for analytics for open source softwares. And this project started in 2017 at the OSS NA. And since then we've had several working groups with a long list of metrics to track and also a number of community-centered initiative. And we frequently have low-centered, relaxed, low-structured, relaxed calls um, um, almost every weekday. The Chaos Badging and Launch. The Chaos Badging was created to foster positive diversity and inclusive practices in open source and is focused on technical open source events. For now, the open source badging is a community driven development that is made up of a committed team of volunteering professionals where event organizers get to apply for their apply their events for a badge. Um, at Chaos Badging, we measure quite a, a number of metrics. We track quite a number of metrics, such as um, the code of conduct of an event, where we ask questions like, how does the code of conduct for an event support diversity and inclusion? We also have a metric for diversity access tickets, where we ask questions such as, are the di um, how, diverse, how are diversity access tickets used to track, used to support diversity and inclusion for an event? We also have a metric for family friendliness, where we ask questions like, how does enabling families to attend together support diversity and inclusion of an event? We also have a metric for speaker demographic, where we ask questions like, how well does the speaker lineup for an event represent a diverse set of demographics, and can it be improved in the future? We also have a metric for attendee demographic, where we ask questions like, how diverse and inclusive are the attendee lists? And all these metrics are what com um, come together to hold the badge, the Chaos DEI badge. So you might be wondering how, how much or how long, how much have we acquired over the years? Since we started the Chaos Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion badging, we've had over 30 events that have been issued badges and uh, um, 13 applicants so far since last year and 13 applicants so far you might be wondering how the chaos diversity equity and inclu um, inclusive initiative works well it's simple um the badging the organizers of an event are expected to apply for an event badge for either an in-person um, event or a virtual events and they do this by filling out a form and upon filling that form the github an issue is automatically created on github and then the badging bot welcomes the applicants or the users and immediately assigns reviewers to this particular issue two reviewers actually the reviewers then come in and fill out um fill out the and uh, the reviewers come in and fill out the review checklist according to the forms which the applicants have filled and ask questions if necessary. And they incorporate the new information um, which align with the uh, checklist into the, into the application form. And once this is done, the, the badges are generated and must be accepted by the event organizers or the applicants. 
So the next step for Chaos DEI version, we have a release cycle of six months. So the next release for Chaos DEI version is going to be November 1st, the version three. And we hope to have increased the requirements of the Chaos DEI version. So we're definitely going to increase the checklist for each applicant. And also we're looking to expand into the project's badging space. So we're not going to be reviewing only open source events this time. We're also going to be reviewing open source projects as well. And also we have, we, we're planning on working on consistent outreach to open source communities because the open source, um, the chaos badging initiative is really new and not a lot of persons or a lot of communities are actually aware of this project. So we hope to expand the, our outreach by reaching out to more open source communities. And finally, we're looking to provide more badges. Of course, with more applicants or with more, with uh, consistent outreach, we're definitely going to get more applicants, which means we're definitely going to be issuing out more badges. So you should also anticipate to that. Since we started the Chaos Badging last year, we have had contributors from Google Summer of Code 2020. We've had contrib um, um, interns from Google Season of Docs 2020. We've had, um, we have four maintainers so far and a number of reviewers and local interns, volunteers, and many more. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any suggestions and questions regarding the KLD EI budget, please do well to drop, drop them or ask them, or you can also apply to, re, uh, to become a reviewer at the KLD Diversity and Inclusive Budget using the links provided, or you can apply for a badge for your events or your open source projects using the links provided. Thank you.